a tarp yes I've made myself a canvas tarp don't get me wrong with guys out there who do great tarps um, Ollie outhouse canvas you want canvas poly cotton or oh, um, canvas he doesn't and I've got one brilliant um, sometimes you just can't justify buying one uh, Thornhill ultra heavy makes uh, tarps because I sew up I am capable of making my own tarp it's just time and effort sometimes but then financially, he's just like, no, I'm have to make my own one. So the reason I made my own one is because I wanted a smaller size tarp. Um, I wanted something smaller than the 2.5 by 2.5 that um, Oli makes, because um, this is the smallest pack, a 30 litre. Um, I didn't want anything that big. I wanted to try and keep the weight down. So I made myself eight, I think it's something like 1.4 by 2.1 or something, 2.2. I'll give you a closer look at it. But then you, I made it the way I want it. Um, so I wanted all canvas, um, like webbing points, and I wanted it to be um, it's the way I stitched it like this. Um, so yeah, you make it the way that you want it, or I'd want it. So, and I didn't want nothing too big. I wanted something small enough that I could fit inside um, that pack, and this does the job. So let's set this up. And this, will, this side I will do like a, a Siberian hitch. And this, I want it about waist level because I sort of designed this for winter style camps where you're going to be sort of lower to the ground. And the higher it is, the more chances you're going to get water in. All right, let's make sure this tree's strong enough. <laughs> yeah, so I want it about waist height. And what I do, I just take a pinch here. And then just give it a tug. It's a bit higher this side, drop it down a bit. About there. And I'll just do an overhand hitch. And that will keep that tight enough. It ain't going anywhere. Got two Prusik knots on each end. So work out where you're gonna have it. Just about there. Yeah, about there I think. So as you can see, it's not that wide, but I don't need it to be that wide. And also the guy at points, what I've done, I've just not left them on the top, which you can do. Just put them in a small little bag. Just makes it easier to adjust. 
And so we've got two at the back and two at the front, so let's do that. So a knot that I use, and sorry, I don't know the name of it. Um, there is a name I should look it up. Hopefully it's in view, but it's really simple. So you just go over, just do a knot, then just do another knot. If you can leave that bit out, that will just tighten up on itself. And then when you're ready to go, you just pull that and it will just come out quite easily. So it's just like I go over, it's like a knot, then put back and another knot. That's the simplest way I can explain it. And yes, I should know the name of it, but I'm terrible with names and knots. And I've used that for quite a few years now and it works really well. And it's quite easy, even when it's tight, tight, it's still really easy to undo. It's just that tension up when you, when you put it like that, it holds it tight. So let's do the rest of these. That's what happens when you have cordage, it's brown, the same colour as the ground. our setup. As you can see, that's plenty of coverage for what I want. Um, you know, if it rained, I could take this side down. And uh, that doesn't need to be out totally to the ground, but there's definitely enough space in there for me. I'll get in there and show you. And there we go. So yeah, there's plenty of space in here for me. Um, winter time, this would be superb. If I wanted a higher configuration, I could do it. Like the normal A frame by 2.5 meters long, and that would give me a higher, a longer, wider setup. But if I want a low down setup and be covered, obviously it's quite low profile as well. And you can see down at, at this lower level, Quite nice. All right, so you know what? Let's get a brew on. Can't believe this weather in October. It's lovely. So what we'll do, we'll get the firebox up. We'll have a small fire. And what we got for fire lighting, I'll have to have a look in the kit. We've got some fat wood and we've got some of these things here. These little wax. So here we've got these little wax things, let's see if we can get it going. Um, I think you just got
So, what we're going to uh, cook on, well, I'm just going to bring one of my old favourite cook kits with me, which is it's all titanium. I've used this on a few trips where I want a kettle, a frying pan, and a pot all in one, and as light as possible. And I come up with this, oh, I feel six years ago, and this is the system. That did work, there we go. So we've got one titanium kettle, which I think is like 1.4 litre. Can't quite remember. So first off, let's put some water in it. So that's the kettle, and then this is a titanium pot, which I've used this lid, which is designed to be a frying pan many times. You won't see now, there's too much smoke. Um, really good, really quite non-stick as well. And then what I did, I put a bow arm just to cover all events if I do need to hang it, and that sits on there lovely. So even I've cooked in there and used this and had food in there to keep warm whatever I'm cooking in there as well. And that's a really, really good system and I really like that. It's one of my favourites. It does everything really and it's quite light. So before I show you that. And even this bag, I think I made this bag oh, quite a few years ago now. I think I made it for a kettle or something because of the shape of it, but there we go, it works fine. So that bit worked, so it was quite good that. Didn't bring any milk out with me, so. Oh, but I've got some army coffee. Got tea bags, the tea bags, no milk. Too long to get going. I'm not doing any lunch today because it's half past two already and uh, I've had lunch so it's sort of an afternoon come out. If you've not seen on Instagram I've done a load out on this video on this bag using the mod system slightly changed it up in a way that I've took out obviously the, the DD uh, super light um, tarp and put in the canvas one and I've just swapped over because you use um, the you know, wood around me uh, so I took out the jet bowl and the frying pan and put in this system now what the hell were these things are impossible to undo now Half a teaspoon of uh, sugar. Be nice if there were some biscuits in. Yeah, but I don't think there is. I think I've eaten.
Her digestive, both digestive result. Do it again, how to get into these things. There we go. Oh, just how I like them, all broke them up. Right, I'm going to have my coffee, biscuit, let that die down, and just sit here. Just had a little play around with the tarp, just got it on a higher position at the moment, and uh, that works really well. And uh, if it rained, still have plenty of coverage. It's just sometimes I want to have a, a canvas tarp, but for that pack, 2.5 metre top would be a two, too heavy, and that works really well. So what's the time? It's come up to four o'clock, so I must be going to pack up now. It's only come up for a brew and just have a chill and have a sit in the woods. Um, but yeah, so I must be pack up now. Each tarp I use in material-wise, I pack up differently. So with the canvas, and I do this with most canvas, with the beauty of it, is that basically it folds up really easy. You just bring it to the side. And let it sit there. That's the quick release end. And uh, so let's undo this side first. If it's a something like the DD Super Light, I'll just ram it into the bag because you can do that, but you won't want to ram this into a, into a stuff bag. So I'll get to this point, try and keep it off the ground. I'll do the figure of eight. I'm hoping in film I can see here. Um, it's pretty much like the, 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 the sort of the standard, the, like the, the way, way may, way me is done. And this is just a quick release side where I just pull that. And the beauty of it, the canvas, they just fold up so nicely. Being smaller definitely packs away a lot easier. And actually, that's doable. Because I've got loads of space if I wanted to store stuff in there. If you check out that video on Instagram, it's quite a long one for an Instagram post, but sort of demonstrated how the modular system uh, makes this frost rear pack so much more usable. And for a 30 litre pack, we've got so much in there and it just sits lovely. I'm really liking this at the moment. Even down to a simple task of putting my pegs in now. And 
that is it. What I normally like to do is like pick the pack up, make sure it's sitting right. And I think I'm like almost bringing this right down to the bottom buckle hole. So there, I've not shown you the whole pack. And also there's a video on this and how I load this out as well. But that's a great combination and that is it. So this was just coming out for a few hours, um, testing out that tarp that I've made and uh, it works really well. Nice size, just right for this sort of setup. Um, and that's it really. See you on another video. Bye for now.